<laughs> Hi guys, Emma again. Um, Shenandoah Steam Shed, uh, Shenandoah Steam Sawmill Company. That's where we are today. Um, engines running everywhere. Where we got the roller was in steam last night. We were going to do a road run today. We had we had big plans on that, but it's really too wet and muddy and. Get too close to the edge with this thing with only one pin in the wheel and no diff lock and you find that we're going to need a tow truck to tour or pull us home so a good idea not to do that at this point so we've stayed at home we've got a day here basically on the tools and messing around with other engines the rollers there uh, drained the water out of that and slipped into the roly, the roby here this morning. Um, the roby stationary engine's got fire in it and steam up. I think we've got about 30 psi. Uh, Christian's running off the new pipe work there with his stationary engines. We'll have a look at them in a minute. Marshall's still sheeted up nice. Um, all shiny and clean underneath there. The Roby had it clean this morning, but I don't know how, 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 how it's lasting. Um, this saw bench was unloaded. Bit of a man killer of a thing, but there's actually new boards there leaning up against the post to put on the top here. So I might start that in a minute and get that going. The Rabies all running, it's just starting to rain, which would be really pleasant. Are your windows up? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> so here's Christian, man of the hour. Christian's got a little water pump running there and two stationary engines running off that other boiler. That's actually pumping quite good. It's a little Worthington style pump. A Hornsby engine and another Roby engine there. They're running pretty nice. This is a new steam pipe work here. Um, forgive the leaks because it's just been commissioned like an hour ago. Uh, runs across there. There's a new manifold in the roof. And another outlet to something else. But uh, isolation valve there. And there's extra safety valve up there. Room on the top there where that tap goes. Um, for a safe for a pressure gauge at some point but yeah new pipe work is what we spent most of the morning doing this little robe is nice and clean we to get fired up in a sec get more water we better add some more water so open the drains Open the tap, give it a kiss, if you like. And your water pump on there will put some water back in the boiler. With any of that. I think so. So, in theory here, um, it's not in the alcoholic, but this one is. That needs a pipe in it. The whisk just runs straight through. Uh, 
in theory, the way this is set up is that it should be sucking straight out of this, I think, out of this gravity tank up the top there. Um, I'm not convinced of this all the time, but it works like that sometimes, so that, that's the theory. Ask Bridge if you want to know. Um, I think he's got, he thinks he's got it sorted out, but we don't really believe him. So, we're all going. I'm going to start in with those full bench, I think. Um, there's, there's beverages being drunk, as you can see. And Christian's poor old engines here that all need a little bit of work. Uh, we'll have to get in and do some to that. Okay, the glass is sort of rising a little bit there. We've got about 25 pounds, 32 pounds, something like that on the on the rocket clock. Um, some mods here. This is the valve that I've been working on, um, off and on. Uh, it's all back in place and, and how it should be. Steam valve here. These drain cocks could all do with the polish on the roller, but they're all back in place and working. And the other valve that I've been working on, this thing needs a wash and a coat of paint. All sorts of things. It's a, it's a forever sort of a job. Um, it's down there, which is the bow down right valve there. It's on the boiler again and it's actually got a system whereby there's no puddle under it when we drain the water out of the boiler, which is awesome. And the boiler water went straight in the other boiler. Anyway, this is the new shed. I don't know if anyone's seen that or this is what the fridge is putting together, which is awesome. Big solid raft shed here. Raft slab here. Um, I think it's about six meters by nine meters something like that and over in that corner will be a, a sunken kitchenette off this end I think about three meters by four meters so just a, a mess area which would be really nice um might have doors up that end and a door down this end and probably railway tracks the seven and a quarter inch gauge railway tracks running through the middle as well um just inside the door somewhere here um, so pointing sort of down that way somewhere I think there will be tracks down here all the way through and that would be useful for moving bits of engines and things around in particular and it's a start on a railway there's plenty of track here in a, in a, in a trailer so we might as well use some of it and there's enough room here on the outside remove this stuff to put a bit of a lean to between here and the fence and run a railway down there so that'll be sort of a railway shed I believe eventually that's going to run across here where the tractor is and behind that water tank um, to a, another little store shed over there um, apart from that then enough there's a lot happening there's works in progress here everywhere. There's engines and things that we're, we're working on. You might have spotted some bad peacock bits laying around. There's this little dynamo here and another one that um, Christians spend some time getting tidied up. 32 volt stuff to run the lights around the top of the shed here. At the moment they're on mains transformer but we'd like to get 32 volt. And that'll run off a line shaft um, off this engine here. There'll be a shaft run along along the top of there to there for anyway for a start. And we'll probably put a 32 dynamo, 32 volt dynamo in there. But hopefully, eventually, that shaft will run all the way down that shed, and we can run something else off it as well. So. That's what's happening. That's a bit of an update. It's only a quick update. I'm going to put some, fire, some wood on this fire. 
and see if we can get a little bit more pressure on the rocket clock and um, some water in the border and I'm going to start into this sorbage. So take care everyone, be kind to each other, thanks for watching and uh, more updates soon I hope. I'm out. Anyway, just as a bit of a postscript, we sort of got a coat of paint on this. It's a bit sort of ordinary, but it's all right. And we've got new timber pretty well on the on the table, which is also a bit ordinary, but it's raining too, so we didn't do too bad. Um, Ten points for discovering the issue with this saw as we speak if you can determine what's wrong with it then drop a comment and um, I'll let you know if you're right but anyway it's all back together it's got a new board or new tape on it um, all new boards that come with the saw um, slides pretty well Anyway, that's that dog done.